known that London is a very expensive city to visit, but it don't have to be. Just remember, London, it's like an open-air museum. You can just wander the streets and look in one of the most amazing buildings. This is one of the most famous, iconic views of London, Trafalgar Square, with Nelson in the middle. We tried to find hidden noses in this arch, but unfortunately footpath is closed and you couldn't see anyone because of one of these arches in the wall is a little sculpture of the nose fitting. salmon and this is the just hot boiled egg with mayonnaise but I ordered this because it's quite like look of this bread I don't even know what this bread is quite hot it's not a white bread and waitress didn't know what it is she couldn't explain it I tried Mm. Like I said, it's really hard, not spongy, it's bit tasteless, but overall all together it goes well, but bread itself only looks good, but it doesn't taste that great. And my other tiny burger with little beetroot salad, but I think this is no different, will be really nice. If you day around the Christmas time and you are looking for activities that will feel festive but not break your bank, then there are plenty of dozen Christmas lights around. If you happen to be walking around Neil's yard, don't miss beautiful mural of Princess Diana's Mary Poppins. Be as naughty as you want, just don't get caught. Camden and Covent Garden are one of my favorite areas in London anyway and it's even more magical at this time of the year. You can have a dinner one of those Christmas igloo or head to one of the many Christmas markets. There are still plenty of them around so this year even so is the COVID still around. This little green building neatly tucked in between two big ones. Very cute. Look at the mist. You can barely see the top of the St. Paul's Cathedral. It's quite noisy, sorry, there's some sort of market was here and they're packing up. But we are treating ourselves for a dinner in London Steakhouse.
The restaurant was first opened in September 2003 as a Lane's restaurant and bar, but by 2008, with help of celebrity chef Marc Pierre White, changed into the London Steakhouse. I don't know if it's Christmas deal or because of COVID, I don't really care, but we had the most amazing deal. For £75 for two, we got three course meal, glass of champagne and a bottle of wine. Service charge was included too. So, for £37.50 each, we had the most wonderful meal. I'm trying my beef bourguignon. And I will tell you, if this celebrity chef is really that great as everybody talking about. It's slightly sweet. Mashed potato is very creamy. It's very nice. What do you think about your steak, Lena? It's very tender, medium, as I ask. Mm, just like a silk in my mouth. So I, I like this steak. I think it's perfect job. So he he's up to his name? Certainly is. Service charge was included, but we left till tip anyway. Because even we had a cheap skates deal, stuff was amazing and not snooty at all. Actually, they were most wonderful. I use a lot of these cheap deals from voucher group on or special deals on the websites of the restaurants and the hotels. And sometimes you can feel the difference of the staff treatment. You know, they're thinking if you're a cheap skate, so you don't deserve a good service. This is not the case here. I'm in the city of London, it's quite a modern looking area, but there is a reason for it. In Second World War, almost 70% of London was destroyed. Some play bits is left, as you can see this is little church, tucked in between two new modern 60s and 80s style building. This is the Bank of England, you probably will say, oh, it's so tiny, but actually most of the bank is underground and you can't see anything what's going on in there. I think most of the offices now walk from home because it's so quiet in here, really, really quiet. Monument was built from white Portland stone to commemorate the Great Fire of London and the rebuilding of the city. We made it 311 steps. I feel I'm done for a day with my exercises. View open up from here is beautiful. Unfortunately, there is, as you can see, metal net around it because apparently few people try to commit suicide. The fire started on Sunday, 2nd September 1666. That day was very hot, dry, wind, windy, perfect condition for the rapid spread. Remarkably, just six people was officially recorded to lose their lives, but the Great Fire make almost 85% of London population homeless. The fire started at Baker's shop on a pudding lane and burned for almost five days, destroying over 13,000 tightly packed wooden houses, 87 churches and iconic landmarks, St. Paul's Cathedral. Remains of the cathedral were so unworkable, so it was demolished. It took around 50 years to rebuild the city after that fire. This is where we're going next. Keep watching to see what it's like and what it is. There we conquered 311 steps and got a certificate to prove it.
Okay, I managed to get to Sky Gardens. You do need to pre-book it. It's free entry, but they ask you to pre-book online. We didn't have any pre-booking because the set is fully booked. We just walked in, said, can we look? They said, yeah, have a go. That's it. There's a restaurant, cafe here. And in a minute, we will go outside and see what it looks like. Well, if my filming is not very steady, they're not allowed gimbal, selfie sticks, tripods, nothing out here. Sky Gardens located in Fenchbury building, named Walkie Talkie for its shape. This is 38 floor skyscraper featuring a top floor restaurant. London Sky Garden offers beautiful views of the city for free. And if you are there in sunset, the views even more beautiful. Aside from the spectacular views, the Sky Garden's main selling point is its leafy indoor tropical garden. It's amazing what can be done. Gardens on top of the huge skyscraper. And everything growing and blemishing. I can't even keep my plants alive in a garden, in a natural environment. They're all dying on me. But here, indoors, beautiful gardens. Cafe is very popular here. But of course, prepare to open big pockets. It's not cheap. We just got a coffee and a little tart because we don't trust that food will be good here. Normally in busy places like this is never good. Is this guys have a best view when they clean in the windows? The walkie-talkie has been named the ugliest bridge structure, but I think it's a little unfair. Once open, its gardens was criticized for falling short of promises to be a truly public space and looking more like an airport terminal with collection of expensive restaurants and bars and very little of public space squeezed around. Partially it's true, but I really enjoy this garden and you can get better views of London for free. The old Tudor building, an arch and oldest house in the city of London. Built between 1597 and 1614, this is the only house in the city of London to have survived the Great Fire of London in 1666. Actually, there are rumors to be skeletons in the foundation. Of course, if you're in London, St. Paul's Cathedral will be on the many people's list of must-see. But you have to pay £17 to get in. But if you want to see another, no less magnificent church than all the parish church, St. Bartholomew the Great is a must-visit. Founded in 1123, represents some of the best Norman architecture found in Greater London today. This is the one of the most filmed church in London. And you probably recognize it because it was a backdrop for filming of four weddings in the funeral, Robin Hood, Princess Thieves, Shakespeare in Love. visit the church but if you have a spare couple of pounds donate some because remember to keep this building looking so magnificent it takes a lot of work and a lot of money this is the other side of this Tudor building but look how interesting how much how it's tucked in between two quite modern buildings And if you don't know that these churches exist or this building is exist, it's very easy to miss it. 
London great any time of the year, but really shines on Christmas. We had a great time browsing streets of London and found new things to see. I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I see you next time when we're gonna take a ride on a night bus.